We're back in the Stone Creek Kitchen with Chef Bo McMillan from the Sanctuary on Camelback Mountain and Chef Chuck Hughes. You may recognize him perhaps from the Cooking Channel. Um, well, when does your show start? My, I have, um, How many shows you got? Let's be honest. Let's be he's, honest he's here. rocking the TV. Oh, why not? I have a show called uh, Chuck's Day Off, okay. which is uh, shot in my restaurant okay. that plays on Cooking Channel. And that's the sexy and restaurant that you referred both to? Both restaurants yeah. are drop dead sexy. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you want to go on a date, this is the closer right here. This restaurant, Bre <laughs> Bremner and, and Garmager are just old Montreal and Montreal at its best. They we'll reflect the it. It is. It is, it is, it is we'll a it sexy <laughs> restaurant. And it's uh, kid friendly. <laughs> With awesome. It's not your kids. They have your kids' stories. You've scarred them. So I have a show called Chuck's Day Off, which is a cooking show, how to, in my restaurant. Then I have a show called Chuck's Week Off. I we're want we're really thinking I'm, Chuck's year I'm, off. Yeah. Uh, which is a I'm special, on to you. Yeah, which is a, a, a special on Mexico. So I spent two months in Mexico and it's an eight-part series on Mexico and we're going probably to uh, Greece or Italy next. Uh, and then my new show that I'm starting on now that's going to start airing um, hopefully in the fall uh, is called Chuck's Eat the Street. So it's uh, me traveling through the U.S. So I got a couple couple things going on he there. He ventured off the beach. I'm taking him, yeah. I'm taking the him to Taco Solisco later on. He's going to get some real street. He's like, you're gonna get the yeah. best taco and maybe get shot. I'm like, you never know. One of my favorite things. Hey, we gotta live, right? Yeah, there you go. So, All right, well, let's fast track this. Let's recipe. see if we can seal the deal on this dish. Okay, let's do it. I like your segues there. Is that how? That's why you keep getting more shows, right? <laughs> okay. That's how it works. So we've made the carrot um, butter yes. sauce. We got the gnocchi. We've got the gnocchi right. done. The they were boiled. They've been fried in a little bit of butter, salt, and pepper. Mm. So we All fried right. them after we let them float up to the top. Yeah, Janine. exactly. Yeah. You get this had had incredible said, color right? on. I've had gnocchi. I haven't made them before. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, honestly, it's one of those things that uh, the more you practice, obviously, the better you get at it. But it's very, very simple, and I, it's fun, and it's good for kids right. because you know it's a dough rolling around. It's out. okay. It's I, I don't have like I don't have to be in the kitchen with the kids. I just oh. don't need it. Need to be at a fine dining restaurant. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> or is that I gotta leave the binky at home so he doesn't throw it? The throw it at somebody. Yeah. <laughs> so that's done. The carrot butter. All we've done here is we've sautéed our fresh peas. We didn't even boil them or anything. Uh -huh. Super fresh, super good. Keep them, you know, a, a little bit of bite, yeah. and we don't want to overcook them either. So bacon, peas. We got some beautiful carrots in there. We got our gnocchi that's done. We got our carrot butter that's come together and just waiting there. Uh, and our scallops that are that are almost there. Um, I'm surprised we have any peas left, to be really honest with you. I know. You. And the beautiful thing about I it is... I think we're uh, eating the whole show. You're, know, you're looking so at good. ingredients that are like locally driven, seasonally right. driven, what he likes to use, what's available at its best. But the cool thing about it is, is like food goes beyond the flavor. Sweet, salty, you know, some bitterness with the English peas. Uh, a killer carrot butter that's rich and flavorful like the scallops. Sweet. But textural components too. Like, you know what I mean? It's like when you eat this, you've got this super soft pillow style pasta mm. with some fresh, crunchy vegetables in here, and it's just a perfect combination. Oh. <laughs> can I try one of the little so peas? Good. Of course you can. Yeah, big time. I? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. You know, this is one of those dishes it, that yeah. we made at the restaurant kind of like as a daily special. Mm -hmm. um, and it just became one of those classics that we couldn't so take well. off the menu. Right. Uh, we have it. a chalkboard menu, and we, we, we want to change it as much as possible, but as the shows that you don't watch get more and more popular. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but people come in and ask for these these specific dishes. So it's kind of like, you know, I actually spent a year of my life at the restaurant being like, I'm a chef. I decide what I want. And then, like, people were like, can we get the carrot butter? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do carrot no, butter. Do it in French. Do it in French. No. On fait pas de la carrot ici. Yeah. Where are those scallops from? <laughs> the ocean. Yeah, the, the ocean. Chef, the chef, the chef, so so I kind of spent like one year kind of, you know, like, especially with TV and, and cooking, um, I was just wasn't used to people coming and saying like, oh, how are you? And, and knowing you, you right. know what I mean? And asking for these dishes. So we spent, it was a learning curve. And now we're like, you know, give the people what they want. Yeah. Why not? Well, you, you know, know what I, mean? I think you, you came out of the that. kitchen from behind the yeah, fryers. There you, go. <laughs> there you go. Well, we find that even on this show because people come in and they're like, oh, well, what was he like? Did you ask him da 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 da? And, and because you, become, you know, you become real to people. You yeah. Get I into think, their homes. I think chefs got to be approachable, just like yeah. food has to be approachable. They want to be recognizable. They want to. I mean, it's it's the hospitality business, and if you love pleasing people, it's going to show through your food, yeah. the carrying the ingredients, and it's well, easy. And I think the same can be said too, whether you're in a restaurant or whether you're, you know making this restaurant at home. You know, you show that part of you to the people that come into your house. It is hospitality You're on good a plate. To go, my brother. All right, this is your Iron Chef moment. You got a minute left to plate this up. Ten seconds. Make it look good. <laughs> Ten nice. seconds. Seriously? Alton's freaking out. Alton's freaking out. We should also mention out. that this recipe will be online just a little bit later today, um, as well as information on how you can get out to the Lunch and Learn series. We're in the 11th year. It's a fantastic event, and we still have several.
several spots available Come for this weekend. Come see Lunch and Learn. <laughs> you can see we change people's lives stuff. That's what we like to tell and people. And by the way, Chuck, you know, yes. Bo and I, and, we and Janine as well, we're, we're available if you need any extra people <laughs> in that, like, yeah. Italian. What do you guess, tasters? You know, <laughs> it's just something, a little extra something on your Italian, you know, adventure. Yeah. 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 Okay. We're yeah. there for you. Okay. I've already make. ordered my Italian Speedo. I'm rocking <laughs> oh, oh, Southern you know Italy. What? Second thought, That's I think it's going to be here. <laughs> yeah, get back here tomorrow. <laughs> Bye-bye, everyone.